clean and service your battery at least once a year to prevent corrosion to your car and to the battery terminals. A good time of the year to do this is in the fall before winter when a higher cold cranking amps are required of your battery. The cold affects the battery and when you get down to zero degrees you get about half the cranking amps out of your battery and then it continues to go down further from there. Also more amps are required by your engine to turn over the engine with cold engine oil in it. So I said clean and service. So you're going to clean the terminals, clean the battery, clean the battery tray, and the area down below your battery, anywhere where the metal is touching the battery tray. Most cars have a plastic battery tray, but a lot of times there's metal framing or metal car parts around the battery tray. And I did say clean and service. Most batteries are maintenance free. So you're going to clean the terminals and clean the battery, but you're not going to service a maintenance free battery. You don't take the, these vent caps off. Some older batteries, however, have caps that come off and you can add distilled water to, to the battery to, can, to increase the battery life. Then you would service the battery in that way. This battery we're just going to clean. That's the way we're going to service it is just to clean it and clean the terminals. Some tools you need to do this are wrenches to take off your battery terminal clamps, wrenches to take off your battery hold down, however it's configured for your battery hold downs. You need a terminal brush that has both the terminal clamp and and then the terminal, battery terminal end. A regular wire brush. Other brushes or sponges to clean down in your battery tray. Gone dishwashing soap. And baking soda. Make sure it's pure baking soda that is sodium bicarbonate. This is 100% sodium bicarbonate. This will act as a base and neutralize the sulfuric acid from the battery. Make sure you always wear safety glasses. And always start with the, the negative ground cable. Notice how the positive cable is covered and it has a red cover on it. So red for positive. You start with the negative because if I touch something to ground with the negative, it won't, it's already, the circuit's already completed. If I touch something from the positive, I'm completing the circuit and I'll arc it out. So my tool will become hot and it'll short the battery. So that could be a dangerous situation where the, the battery could explode or the wrench will become melted and or you'll receive burns on your hands from the hot wrench. Start with the negative terminal, then remove the positive terminal. Make sure your cables are pushed aside so that they don't go back and touch your battery terminals. This first time I'm recommending that you take the battery all the way out of the car and clean the battery tray. In the future, when you do this, you could stop at this point and just clean your battery clamps on your cables and the battery terminals. And I'll explain why later. Remove your battery hold down. Notice on this hold down, I don't have to take the nuts all the way off of the hold down bars. They have a hook on the bottom of them so I can get it off of the mount without taking them all the way off. I'm going to set that aside and clean it with baking soda and soapy water. I'm going to take the battery out. For this car, the battery tray simply just pulls out. So I'm going to bring it out. So here's why I want to clean the battery tray. See how this battery, it doesn't vent. The water stays in it. 
So if the water is going to run out of it though, it has to run off onto the metal of the car. See how it sits in the, the metal frame of the car here? So I want to clean all of that with baking soda and just let the baking soda run down wherever it may and um, it'll neutralize any acid that's gotten down on the metal here and in the frame of the car. And then I'm going to use the Dawn dishwashing soap and continue and wash that area off with soap and then rinse it with, liberally with water. I don't have a recipe for this, but I add in several teaspoons of baking soda. for every cup of water. I use a container that I can put a lid on and shake it. You can't use too much. The baking soda doesn't hurt the car at all. It's the sulfuric acid that hurts the car. So I've got about two cups of water and I added two, two teaspoons for each cup of water. Put the lid back on and shake it. So that's my baking soda solution. And I use that liberally. I use that in the battery tray on the plastic battery tray to clean it and on the battery so i'm going to use it here on the battery i'm going to use caution not to get it into the into the vents you know this is maintenance free and these don't come off there's a lot of times there's holes on the side either in the center here or on the ends that uh, will have holes in the vents so that the battery can vent so I don't want acid to get into, or the baking soda to get into the acid in the battery. But I want to use it around the battery terminals here. This is where it leaks, or there. Otherwise, the rest of the battery is sealed. But I want to use the solution all over the battery and wash the battery with it. If you put your solution on an area and it starts to bubble, that means it's working keep adding it until it stops bubbling it means it's reacting the baking soda the base is reacting with the acid once I've got the area all cleaned up I'm going to coat all the metal parts that the battery tray sits on with a wheel bearing grease that'll keep any future acid from affecting the metal you can use a, a motor oil that'll get down into cracks and crevices better but it won't have the stain power that the the wheel bearing grease has so coat the plastic battery tray it's not going to corrode but it'll keep it'll help hold any acid that gets off the battery that comes off the battery it'll help hold that acid into the plastic battery tray instead of letting it go down onto the car onto the rest of the parts this will keep the the car from corroding so you can see what i said earlier that you don't have to do this every year you don't have to take the battery all the way out every year and add grease into it this grease will stay in here for several years so you you can just clean your terminals once a year but if you do this every two or three years then it'll prolong the life of your car and keep the your body and your frame from corroding down in your engine compartment once you're satisfied with your grease job on your battery tray go ahead and reinstall it reinstall your battery Normally I'd clean these off the car, but so that you can see me do it, I'm going to clean the battery terminals and I use my battery terminal brush 
And one of the reasons why this brush has lasted so long, this brush has lasted me about 20 years. The reason it lasts so long is because I only go one way. I simply go clockwise. Every time I turn it, I go clockwise. So the positive is larger than the negative. It requires a little more force, but I always turn it clockwise. Same way when I same way when I use the battery clamp brush, I always turn it clockwise. With that, you twist and turn. You kind of push them back and forth to make sure that your taper is hitting the whole surface inside the clamp. And notice how I'm doing it from the bottom to the top because the clamp and the terminals are tapered just like the brush is here. So go from the bottom. It should be shiny and clean on the inside. Remember, I want to install my positive first and then my negative. I'm careful not to let my negative touch, but I'm going to reinstall my mount first before I install my terminal clamps. Here's one tip also that part stores have these rings that go underneath your battery terminal clamps around your battery terminals and these provide uh, a corrosion inhibitor. They're treated so that they keep the sulfuric acid from seeping out or the acid when it does seep out around the battery that this will soak it up and neutralize it. Before I install my clamps I want to coat the threads with a good anti-seize and even though some of these threads don't get used I want to make sure that they don't corrode because this is around the battery so it could get sulfuric acid on it and I want to do the J-hooks down at the bottom because they're making contact with metal metal contact down there prevent corrosion I don't need to make sure that uh, this hold down is too tight. Just want to make sure it's snug and the battery doesn't move within the tray. Once I'm there, now I can reinstall my battery terminal clamps and I want to put a little grease on the bottom side of my clamps to prevent corrosion. And I want to put grease in any threads on the clamp. So this is where it's going to leak is right here at this connection between the battery terminal and the case. It's going to leak right there. So um, a little bit of grease on top of the terminal. Make sure I push it down. If I'm not able to push it all the way down so that the top of the battery terminal comes out of the top of the clamp, then I want to spread my clamp. And I want to do that with uh, either the right tool which is a clamp spreader or a needle nose pliers works for that. So I'm making sure my isn't touching over here otherwise I'll could potentially short. So I'm making sure the plastic is touching it. And then I'm going to tighten my positive battery terminal. And I don't want to over tighten it either. I want to wiggle it, make sure it's tight. Make sure it's not loose at all. And then I can install the, the negative. Make sure I push it down so that the top, the top of the terminal is below the top of the clamp. Or the top of the clamp is below the top of the terminal. Like I said with the positive terminal, you want to make sure it's good and snug so you don't want these to come loose. That's why we're cleaning it. So make sure you got a good tight 
solid connection right here. So it's transferring energy. Then simply put my uh, wiring harness hold down points back on and I'm done. That concludes the video. If you found it helpful, please let me know in the comments. And if you did, please subscribe.